tonight is a comedian who stars in the series Fresh Off the Boat. Please welcome Randall Park. Show. Thanks for having me. Nice to see you. Great. Now, uh, uh, you've got the show third season. Third season. started of Fresh Off the Boat. Yeah. You're also, uh, we're on Veep. Hilarious yeah. on Veep. Oh, thanks so much. And, um, <laughs> thank you. Now, just, to, to, just a, as a premise to the question I'm about to ask you is that um, uh, you uh, are Korean American. Yeah. Correct? Yeah. Uh, but you play someone Taiwanese. Yes. Correct. Yes, I do. All right. Yeah. And the show this year started off in Taipei. You actually shot there. We right? shot in Taipei, yeah. Was it, yeah. did it worry you at all to be a, a Korean American playing someone who was Taiwanese in, in, in Taiwan? Taiwan? <laughs> yeah, you know, I did wonder how they would take that. I, I, I didn't know if it would be a problem. Uh, but, uh, you know, going out there, our show, you know, it airs out there, and uh, it, a lot of people love the show. A lot of people were super nice to me, so I, it seemed I like... that you're popular there not just for the show, though. Yeah, yeah. Uh, also, uh, well, because our show airs out there in the, in the news and in the uh, newspapers, and there, there's been a lot of stories about how I look a lot like this former mayor of, <laughs> of Taipei. And, What's uh, his name? His name is Mayor Howe, and uh, <laughs> I don't look like him. I, I don't, don't see it. I don't see it, right? I don't see it at all. Yeah, he actually came and visited the set, and we shook hands, and I'm like, we don't look alike. <laughs> no, I don't see it at all. No, not at no. all. But, uh, but Ken Jeong, who, who was actually in that, yep. at that episode, was there with us in Taiwan. And after I shook his hand, he comes up to me. He's like, you guys look exactly alike. And I was like, <laughs> no, we don't. No, I understand you had another thing to be afraid of when you were there. Well, I, I, I mean, I wasn't afraid, but I did think for a second, uh, maybe I'll get kidnapped. I didn't, I didn't know <laughs> because of the whole interview thing. Because during the interview, like the, the height movie, of it. The interview with Seth Rogen and James Franco, yeah. where they go interview Kim Jong-un. Yes, yes. I, and I played Kim Jong-un. A fantastic portrayal of Thank Kim you. Jong -un. Thanks so yeah, much. Yes, exactly. It really was. That was oh. great. You went like full De Niro, yeah, and like gained yeah. a bunch of weight a, a little bit, yeah. yeah. And but at the time, a lot of people said, "Okay, you'll you'll you're, you'll be safe. Just don't go to Asia. Don't go to Asia. <laughs> That's a big part of the planet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't but, go to a quarter of the planet. Right. And but I didn't. I did not go to Asia. And this then is your this, first trip back. And then this Taiwan trip, and I was like, oh, I wonder if I'm going to get kidnapped. <laughs> and uh, thankfully, I did not get kidnapped. <laughs> yeah. Was that a fun movie to work on with those guys? It was a lot of fun. Were you? How much of it were you high? <laughs> Asking a little bit. <laughs> um, now, before you before you start acting, um, the, the show is fresh off the boat. But you're not fresh off the boat, right? No, you were born, born, born and States. raised in L.A. But yeah. your folks were. Yes, your folks they, came from. They Korea. came from Korea. Okay, that's right. And when your first job was helping your your your, your father in his in his photo photography business? Yeah, my dad had a, a little one-hour photo shop. Oh, back worked. when people still used film. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, he kind of, like, started it during the dawn of the digital age, so, we, you know, we didn't have many customers, but we had, <laughs> we had customers, and I'd help him out on the weekends, and I, and I saw a lot of, you know, because you, when you're developing people's film by hand, you have to see the photos, so I got to see a lot of people's private lives. <laughs> So people were taking the... Well, a lot of sex photos, yeah. Really? Yeah, it was a film. Yeah, yeah. It was in, and I don't know if it, if it was... Uh, I, I made an observation, and I don't know if, it's a, if it was, like, the community that his store was at, at or if it was just people who do one-hour photo, but one thing I noticed <laughs> was there was a lot of hair. <laughs> just a lot of hair. Really? Yeah. When was this? I, I, I thought it was... I was like, were these taken in the 70s? Because <laughs> it's, like, a lot... But it was... So when people come, but the thing is, when people come up to pick up their photos, they have to know that you know what their private life yeah, is Yeah, like. yeah. And you would never think, like, some of these people were completely unassuming, and, like, I'd be like, here are your photos. Uh, now, there's a lot of talk about diversity on television. Yeah. And uh, this show, Fresh Off the Boat, is the first time that... 
There is an Asian character in... Well, an Asian family on network TV in, in like, over 20 years. Since Margaret Cho's All-American Girl, yeah, right? right, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm super proud of it. That's fantastic. Yeah. Well, it was lovely to meet you, man. Thanks, Thanks so, much so much for being here. here. Thank you. Thanks Fresh Off the me. Boat airs Tuesdays on ABC. Randall Park, everybody. We'll be right back with a performance by Bob.